Talk about a wild and crazy Friday night from the game itself to Mother Nature calling an audible a little rain action here in the north end of the Concho Valley. Good evening, folks. I'm Manny Diaz. And I tell you, the Cristobal Cougars, as advertised, coming off the win tonight, 26-6 over the Great Creek Eagles, uh, advancing to 1-1 one one on the season while the Eagles fall to 0-2. We have plenty of good stuff for you tonight. Some stars truly shine. We'll hear from both head coaches and the players, but first things first, let's get to those Twisted Root highlights. Tonight's Cover One highlights are presented by Twisted Root Burger Company. Well, nothing like a little rain under the Friday Night Lights as former YMCA youth football teammates from back in the day, Garrett Steele and the Great Creek Eagles, hosting Weston McAllister and the Chris Dover Cougars. Somebody would be notching win number one of the season tonight. Opening drive for the Cougars, not a bad way to get things started. Braden Wilcox hooking up with senior wideout Clayton Edmiston, picking up a nice chunk of change. Unfortunately, well, the drive would stall. The Cougs would send it back to the Eagles and check this out. A nice return from Great Creek here, but check out number 55 in the white jersey, Weston McAllister. Boom goes the dynamite. That's an AUM Holistic Therapies Play of the Game nominee. Ensuing Great Creek Drive, Eagles setting up the punt, but are they? Instead, Garrett Steele sends it downfield, finding Weston Hill. Looks like a first down, but just shy of the marker. Next, Cristobal Drive, Casey Otho puts David Fava to work. He was out last week, moving the chains here for the first down. A few plays later, they give it back to Fava. This kid with another nice gain, good for 14 yards, and the chain gang is off to the races. Second quarter now, still no score, but not for long. Wilcox fakes the give to Fava, strolls in for the five yard touchdown, two point conversion of good, six nothing C-Town. Next Eagles possession, Grape Creek going okie doke to the bag of tricks, if you will, fooling the Cristobal defense, John DeLuna, the big gainer here. Two plays later, Eagles cashing it in for six, courtesy of Garrett Steele, the QB one. Eagles go for two, but no good. This one tied at six. But back come the Cougars, an AUM Holistic Therapies Play of the Game nominee. Somebody get a hat on this kid. Braden Wilcox with a 15-yard touchdown. Cougars would take a 12-6 lead into the half. Third quarter now, under two minutes to go in the frame. Cougars up 18-6. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Wilcox off the quarterback keeper. He's in for the seven-yard touchdown, making it 26-6, following a David Fava two-point conversion. That's how it would end as Cristobal goes on to win it. Cougars now 5-0 all-time against the Eagles. Tonight's Cover One post-game sound is brought to you by the Caverns of Sonora. I feel like we're really close. You know, last week, last week was a lot of bad. This week, I felt like we cleaned up a lot of stuff, but we're still not quite there. And I, I know it's, I mean, it's disappointing because it's a loss, but we, you know, we show glimpses of what, what we could be in the future. Well, we, we did it good. We started off strong and we just fell off at the end. We, we got pumped up in the locker room. We did our best. We tried our best the first half and we just fell off. How nice was it to kind of taste the wind column tonight? It's pretty good. I haven't, I haven't played a full game of football since last year's playoffs, so it's pretty good. I'll, I'll enjoy every win we can get and uh, we got a lot of stuff to clean up. You know, I, I can't be satisfied yet and I don't think these kids are satisfied yet. We saw some pretty good stuff out of uh, David Fava tonight, stepped in. Talk about this kid and what he was able to do tonight. Yeah, we've been missing him for a couple weeks. He didn't play last week at all. He had a bummed up ankle and uh, he's been begging to play all week. I said, let's go for it. And you came up with some big hits tonight. Kind of talk about that. And, and uh, I mean, Coach said that this playing against a, an offense like that was just right in your wheelhouse. Yes, sir. I got on a punt, I got set up. I, I'm outside contained and he just came running down the sideline. I just got a good hit on him. and. Some alignment, I don't think they did their job right on the offense, and I just got some good hits on them. 
Braden Wilcox uh, did some ad libbing tonight. Kind of talk about some of these plays and kind of what you saw to him tonight. Yeah, he's a he's a playmaker. Uh, I'm pretty upset with him right now about his little showboat action. We'll deal with that tomorrow. But uh, I enjoy every every bit of watching him. Meanwhile, we saw a battle of childhood friends tonight. Grape Creek's Garrett Steele and Cristobal's Weston McAllister. They go back to their days of YMCA ball playing for the Black Ice. Like they even had a meeting in the backfield tonight. Both shared their thoughts of going toe-to-toe -to -toe against each other under the Friday Night Lights. It was awesome, man. It was fun. Playing against one of my old teammates. We got a lot bigger. It was just fun, man. Going up like on the other side of the line, going head on head. It's a, it's a good feeling, sir. We we we're good buddies and you know, I'm the defensive end, he's the quarterback, so I was already I was always going for him, but at the end of the game we're still good buddies. It's time for Manny's Cover One Final Call of the Night, presented by Pettit Productions. Well, if there's any takeaway from tonight's game, it's youth. Plenty of sophomores lining up for both the Cougars and the Eagles tonight. Heck, both teams rolling out with sophomore quarterbacks. But as we all know, stars shine bright deep in the heart of Texas. And one guy that did so tonight was Cristobal defensive end Weston McAllister at 6'4", 230 pounds, and did some solid things on special teams and did some good things defensively against this Grape Creek, D Grape Creek offense who's known for pounding the rock. If anyone from this district is watching, watch this guy. He's going to do some big things, and he's just only a sophomore. So he still has a few more years to grow physically and mentally with this game. Nonetheless, it's him and a number of other guys that we can look forward to watching in years to come. Both of these teams did plenty of growing up tonight. I look forward to watching them down the stretch of the season. Tonight's play of the game is brought to you by AUM Holistic Therapies. All right, we had two nominees for tonight's AUM Holistic Therapies play the game. It was a razzle-dazzle from Braden Wilcox here in the third quarter that went for 15 yards and the touchdown. QB1 was good for three of those on the night. That's our AUM Holistic Therapies play the game. I'll tell you, Mother Nature made her presence felt tonight with plenty of scattered showers all throughout West Texas. And thankfully here in Grape Creek, well, they have some beautiful turf. So they were able to squeeze in all four quarters. So good stuff from them. Good stuff uh, that we expect from both teams, both the Cristobal Cougars and the Great Creek Eagles moving forward. Well, coming up next week, week three of the Texas high school football season, the Central Bobcats take on Cedar Park next week in Austin. That's where we will be. The Bobcats coming off a win tonight against the Del Rio Rams. Until then, I'm Manny Diaz. Good night. Tonight's Fan Mic Check is brought to you by Oasis Crop Insurance. How much fun was it watching these guys get a win tonight? Oh, it was so much fun. We enjoy it. Every Friday night, it's what we look forward to most in the week, just to come out and watch our guys um, do what they love to do and what we love watching them do. Mother Nature looked like it might, might have played a, a damper on it tonight. It did for sure, but um, they pulled through and just um, played their hardest. You know, no matter the weather, you know, we're out here to play and have fun. and win. <laughs> now you guys are here to support them rain or shine. Yes sir. Is that what it's all about for you guys? It is. We love our boys. We love supporting our hometown. Um, cheering on the Cougars every Friday night. Um, any sport really and it, um, just a great time out here. Mm -hmm.